Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Elizabeth, remember Elizabeth, how on the banquet table dream it felt like reality? It is because I am the one that took you to heaven, giving you a reminder of what it feels like as you lovingly laid your head on my shoulder in what you now refer to as the banquet table dream. My name is Mama Shikanya. I am the Heavenly Mother's love you have always longed for. I did this to show you that you are not a motherless child, just as you are not a fatherless child. Yahweh and I are your heavenly parents, just as we are the parents to all whose names are found in the Lamb's Book of Life. I tell you this because for a lifetime you have grieved and felt an empty void as do others always searching for an earthly mother and a father's love. And yet, you have been given heavenly parents, parents that will never leave nor forsake you, nor hurt you in any way. I tell you this, so others who feel that they have the same void with unsaved parents who refuse to accept Yahashua as Mashiach, the only Messiah, will realize they lack nothing in Yahshua. They have both a Heavenly Father and a Heavenly Mother. My beloved daughter Elizabeth, tell them for me. If they will but receive this revelation, they will never feel that void inside of them again. In the manuscripts of old, read and see, wisdom is referred to as she. And in the scriptures of old, I am referred to as she. Study and show thyself approved. All those that doubt this word and attack you for speaking forth this secret are either not of my Holy Spirit and their name is not found in the Lamb's Book of Life. For Yahshua's sheep do hear his voice or they have a measure of faith yet prefer not to be controversial and continue to follow the mistranslations of the New Testament when the word he is used instead of she. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have sworn and I will perform it that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto thy word. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Where the word of a king is, there is power. And who may say unto him, What doest thou? There are three ruling thrones. Yahweh sits in the middle. Yahashua HaMashiach sits on the right side of Yahweh. And I, your mama Shekania, sit on the left side. All three of us rule in heaven equally and are co-creators. Yet, there is only one Mashiach named Yahashua. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin, and of righteousness, and of judgment. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. my fire that he is speaking of. I am the Ruach HaKodesh and I am Yahashua's Heavenly Mother. Yahweh is his Heavenly Father. I am Mama Shekanya and it is my holy light that radiates off of my holy children's faces. Those who truly love, worship and obey Abba Yahweh, Yahashua and me the Ruach HaKodesh. It is through my anointing that all things are possible through the name of Yahashua. Did not your Messiah Yahashua say that he had to leave this earth? 
but he would not leave you alone. He would send the comforter, and I am the one that soothes your fears, encourages, mentors, and comforts like a mother. Am I not? I am Mama Shikanya Glory. I am the Holy Spirit that came to the upper room with my holy wind and fire as stated in the book of Acts. I filled the disciples with my holy anointed fire as they tarried for me in the upper room. I am the one that came as a mighty wind that blew into the upper room. And this is the reason I birthed through you, Elizabeth, this ministry. To minister both to the Jews and the Gentiles. And I gave the name of this ministry, Elephantav Almighty Wind Rule Kakodesh Fire Ministry. Beloved daughter Elizabeth, in the beginning, before you knew of your Hebrew roots, you were still part of the organized Pentecostal churches. Yet it is I, Mama Shikania, that gave this ministry the name Alpha and Omega Almighty Wind Holy Ghost Fire Ministry as well as the same name with Almighty Wind. One day, Elizabeth, I knew you would be used to share some of heaven's secret with my holy seed. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him that heareth say, Come. And let him that is athirst, Come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. I touched the wing of an angel and I was healed. Apostle Elizabeth Elijah Nicomiah, May 24, 2005. Michael, the holy archangel, came to me with another angel and stood over my bed, awakening me. I tried to wake my husband and yelled, Honey, wake up! The holy angels are here! But he was kept asleep by Yahweh. I had been very sick for three days, exhausted from the pain. Then I saw a holy angel standing next to me. Michael's wing was hanging over the bed, and I reached out to touch it. As I stroked it between my two fingers like a child would, marveling at the softness of the wing and beauty of the gems that sparkled all through it. I was instantly healed of my illness when I touched Archangel Michael's wing. Praise Yahushua our Mashiach. I was also given a message from the other holy angel. He spoke to me and said, All of heaven is rejoicing and preparing for the bride of Yahushua. The next time the angel visits me will be to tell me when Yahushua is coming for the bride. Since I am the ringmaiden of Yahushua, I will know. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. As a group, they cover this ministry in prayer. 24 hours a day in different time zones. And individually each pray for one hour a day or more. We call them our spiritual sons and daughters and love them very much. Our YDS frontline prayer warriors are very anointed holy prayer warriors. They know how to do spiritual warfare and they give all praise to Yahushua our Mashiach. I am honored to be called Mama RM by them, even though I'm only 25 years old.
I warned you a long time ago, Elizabeth, not to name this ministry after a man or a woman. Even before there was a ministry, I put it in your spirit. For none of this has been done by your hands. None of this has come forth from your mouth. It is from the mouth of Yahweh that has given birth. It is from the mouth of Yahushua, your Mashiach, that has been given birth. It is from the mouth of the Rekakadash Yimayah that has been given birth. If it had only been by your hands, it would have failed long ago. It is by the Shekinah glory's wind that blows across this earth. The holy wind of revival. It is not by your breath or it would have failed. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. But there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. I'm Ezra, a prophet from Israel, the new male leader of a mighty wind, commended by Yahweh, the Almighty God, to speak in holy tongues of protection before any prophecy, coming forth out of my beloved Elisheva's mouth from now on according to Abba Yahweh, till a holy tongue come forth of a supernatural covering and protection from the physical and the spiritual realm. And I warn you all, those who are coming against this ministry and this prophecy, and Elisheva, and I, and all the ministers of a mighty wind ministry, I warn you now, touch not Yah's anointed, and do his prophets no harm, lest the wrath of the rod of Yah will come upon you. But for those who are blessed and are blessing for this ministry, and faithful, and who has received the prophecies, much blessing will come on you, all to protect what belongs to Yah. You will regret the day you ever were born. Touch not my anointed. And neither do these two prophets any harm. I tell you this. Heaven rejoices, the angels rejoice, because when you've done this this day, you have hastened the time, Yahushua HaMashiach shall come for his bride, and the dragon gnashes his teeth in rage, because he could not stop what's taking place today. It is not just a leadership. It is a love that only comes from heaven above. Ordained, appointed, chosen. The fullness of the anointing that was prophesied that had never happened until I brought Ezra by your side. 
I maori no kota bari i ka rena no koi ono no ori bahi no na rina. Kosa mari no no koto kori no na kata bara na na rino no koi bahi. Bara no no koto bara i no kata na rina na bara no no ori na kata. Oh my beloved ring maiden, how much longer? I have allowed the bride of Yahushua to stand in the gap as Abraham stood in the gap for Lot. How much longer do you think I should wait? How I am mocked. How my name is scorned. How my holy ones that represent me are slandered. How they are killed for my sake all over the world just because I have kept it from coming to America. Thus far, how much has been taken for granted. Now I tell you to say a new prayer for the end is nigh. That is why the bride had to come to me on this Purim and be holy before me, before my eyes. That is why I said, Yahushua, get your bride ready without spot or wrinkle, for the evil has grown more evil and the holy has gotten more holy before my eyes. My eyes went to and fro, especially at this time of Purim. In the so-called Christian churches, this holy time is not even mentioned, or some did it, but with a passing glance. It is this ministry that I I birthed through you that taught the people the meaning of the importance of the bloodline of Mordecai and the obedience of an Esther. Now I give you a new mandate to give to the bride. Don't worry about those that will scoff and mock. Don't be concerned with the look upon their faces. You must merely obey. And these are the words I have to say. I, Yahweh, command the bride of Yushua HaMashiach this day to pray for the two witnesses. Pray for the two witnesses for the time is coming that I am sending the angels oh so shortly to confirm to the two witnesses who they are in me again and again Satan has tried to take their lives just as there is a bride of Yushua HaMashiach there is a bride of Satan this ministry has encountered them again and again and knew it not there are those who hate you with such a vengeance even 200 witches were raised up by the hand of Satan to pray against you, the one I call my ring maiden. For I've given you more, sina nakata, rina nakata, soko soko yana nakata, rina nakata. Not just one apostle, sina nakata, two apostles, sina nakata. Not just one prophet, sina nakata, two prophets, sina nakata. Not just one Sumo kira katarin na katarin na katarin no na katarin na katarin na kata mokoto ko yana na kata pa yana na kata na nokoto not just one pastor sana na kata but two senior pastors soko soko yana na katarin na kata not just one teacher soko yana na kata ba yana na kata but two teachers soko soko yana na kata ba ki not just one evangelist sana na kata but two evangelists soko yana na kata I, Yahweh, say, Sina Nakata, no Nakata, Payana Nakata, no Nayana Nakata, or where there was one leader, Sokoyana Nakata. Always been one leader, Sokoyana Nakata. It was an illusion, Sina Nakata. There ever was a male leader, Sokoyana Nakata. Now I give you an anointed, chosen, Sina Nakata, Payana Nakata, Yana Nakata, or an appointed, Sina Nakata, Yana Nakata, Sokoyana Nakata. In a kata, male leader, soko yana nakata, and in unison, so nakata. Ezra and Elisheva, soko yana nakata, shall stand side by side, so nakata, hand in hand, soko soko yana nakata, so yana nakata ba kila nakata, so yana nakata ba kila nakata, thumu kila nakata, yana nakata, so yana nakata, yana nakata, soulmate, soko soko yana nakata, with a love that this world will never understand, soko yana nakata. You can search the entire internet, soko yana nakata, paya, and you'll not find sina nakata, or yana nakata, yana nakata, no, and a more anointed ministry, soko soko yana nakata. You'll not find sina nakata, moko yana nakata, paya yana nakata, no yana nakata, or yana nakata, a more beautiful sina nakata, yana nakata, 
Sayana Nakata Mokoto Koyana Nakata Sayana Nakata Rinakata More beautiful videos Sokoyana Nakata More beautiful Soko Soyana Nakata Vayana Nakata For I told her long ago Sonyana Nakata You must entertain as well as inform Sinana Nakata This end time generation Sonyana Nakata By 21 years ago Sonyana Nakata None of this was possible Sonyana Nakata Now behold the most beautiful website Sonyana Nakata that I use anointed hands in Nakata, Payana Nakata, to bring forth in Nakata. If you lift up in Nakata, in Nakata, one word in Nakata, in Nakata, write one word in Nakata, in Nakata, in Nakata, slander, libel, try to defile so in Nakata, in Nakata, in Nakata, so in Nakata. You do not have the wrath of a woman or a man in Nakata. You will have and you will feel in Nakata. of new to what have you done to them so too you have done to me and i tell you this i yeah they tell you this anyone who has touched or harmed this almighty wind ministry in any way or my ring maiden in any way it is though you have touched and put a sharp pointed stick in the pupil of i yeah they died and i will take vengeance and into my winepress of wrath you will go and I shall crush you in seven different directions and that's all they will hear is I crush you in every way mind, body, spirit, and soul as confirmed in prophecy 80 for did I not warn touch not my anointed and neither do my prophets any harm you think your tongue has gotten away with speaking forth these blasphemous words and you have called evil what I have called good in my eyes I will make you wish that I had cut out your tongue before you had been allowed to speak forth the dung but those who embrace this ministry those who embrace these truths those who embrace this ring maiden I embrace you for this is not just a woman this is not just a mere woman this is a vessel I Yahweh have spoken forth my truth from for those of you who have received these truths I receive you for those of you who have scorned and mocked I Yahweh have rejected you but I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ for if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus whom we have not preached or if ye receive another spirit which ye have not received or another gospel which ye have not accepted ye might well bear with him I Yahweh honored and anointed the name Jesus Although my son Yahushua was given a Hebrew name by his Hebrew mother, and I am his father, his name is to contain my name, Yah. The name of Jesus has deleted my sacred name, the name that is above all names. My name Yahweh and the name of Yahushua translates to a constant reminder in every tongue, Yah. Saves. Is it not your custom to name this son after his father? Why do you think it is any different for your heavenly father to do the same? 
It is a constant reminder to you that I, Yahweh, and my son, Yahushua, are one. It is Satan and his servants that fear the name Yah, but I know my children's loving hearts. I even forgave you for forsaking my true Sabbath rest day, breaking the fourth commandment again and again. But I will forgive you no more. Now you are held accountable for what you know. You are held accountable to warn others. There is a higher sacred anointing in the Hebrew name of Yahushua, and in my name, Yahweh, now the end time is nigh. And I warn you, teach others what you now know is truth. There is more anointing in our holy sacred name. Use them. Make no more excuses. During the great tribulation, you must call upon my son's Hebrew name, Yahushua Hamashiach. My name is Yah, and it's in his name, the name above all names. If you do not learn this now, in the great tribulation, when you pray for deliverance or healing, and you use the name Jesus, remember that the son of Satan will be using this name as God. How can you expect to be healed, delivered, or blessed by using the same name that the son of Satan will be using? You will be calling upon the name of the son of Satan, and know it not. In the great tribulation, the son of Satan will have his own day to be set aside to be worshipped, and it will be Sunday. When Sunday worship is mandatory, and you are ordered all over the world to go to your nearest local Sunday church, beware, don't go. It is a trap of the son of Satan. For anyone that does attend a Sunday church during the great tribulation, they will enter the door mesmerized, held captive with the spirits of illusion and mind manipulation and idolatry and rebellion, among many other powerful demonic spirits. Warn them now, they will have taken the mark of the beast and entered the church of defilement and chosen to worship the beast and accept his physical as well as spiritual mark. Warn people now before it's too late. This doesn't mean that all Sunday churches are evil now, but you are so close now. The end is nigh. You must warn the people where the pastors are failing to do so. You must teach the truth of the Hebrew sacred names of Ayave and my son Yahushua, the only Messiah. All others who deny this word, even though they claim to love Jesus and yet refuse to learn the Hebrew sacred names of Shabbat and the holy days and feasts, they will continue to nurse on milk, for they don't want spiritual teeth to eat the spiritual meat. In the great tribulation, they will remember what they had read, and some will repent and know this ministry was truly heaven sent. Every baby is born with a desire and a need for mother and father's love, because all humans are born as babes with a need of earthly love and protection of a mother and a father. Did not your Messiah tell you that he had to leave this earth? But he would not leave you alone. He would send the Comforter. And I am the one that soothes your fears, encourages, mentors, and comforts like a mother. Am I not? I have patiently waited for this time. I have waited for this revelation to be released. This is a must-read book. Have you bemoaned and wondered where are the real signs, wonders, and miracles of old, as when Yahushua walked the earth, and like the book of Exodus and Acts, what is the Shekinah glory? Read this book, learn and receive what the ancient Hebrews and early church knew about the Holy Spirit, and signs, wonders, and miracles you will see again in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. As many of you know, Prophet Elizabeth Elijah has been given revelations from heaven that the Holy Spirit is feminine in nature, and this was first revealed in Prophecies 89 and 90. When we study the Hebrew Bible, we find predominantly references to the Holy Spirit as she. In one of the oldest books of the Bible, Job 33, 4, we read, The Spirit of God, she made me, and the breath of the Almighty, she keeps me alive. The Spirit of God hath made me, and the breath of the Almighty hath given me life.
Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures, and that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve, after that, he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that, he was seen of James, then of all the apostles. And last of all, he was seen of me also, as of one born out of due time. For I am the least of the apostles, that am not meet to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach, and so ye believed.